one Africa, one nation, one nation, one Africa. Um, good day, um, comrades out there. My name is Morai Conte. I am the chairman of the African People Socialist Party in Sierra Leone, and I happen to also be the chairman of the African Socialist International um, in West Africa. I am here, I am here to make a, a solidarity statement uh, for the hands of Uhuru and for the Uhuru plea. Uh, but before I proceed, I would just want to salute my chairman, Chairman Omali Esitela, the chairman of the African People's Socialist Party and the leader of the African nation. Um, comrades out there, like I said, I'm here to make a solidarity statement in favor of the Uhuru plea. And we want everybody to know that in July 29, um, 2022, uh, the FBI attacked the Uru movement offices in St. Petersburg, Florida, where they stole so many items ranging from laptops, phones, and other uh, archives material that are very, very much important and useful to the Uru movement. And um, after that, we also saw the, the, the FBI indict the the, the, the the Huru leadership. So we want to call upon the American government to drop its bogus charges against the Uhuru tree. These are um, Chairman Omari Esitela, who is the chairman of the African People's Socialist Party, um, Chairperson Penny Hash, who is the chairperson of the African People's Solidarity Party, and also Chairman um, Jesse Neville, who is the chairman of the Ar the um, Uhuru um, Solidarity Movement. Uh, we want to extend the call that all black people must come together and denounce the attempt of the United States to assassinate our leader. Because by putting Chairman Omari Esitela, who is above 80 years now, by putting him in jail for 15 years, it's like assassinating the leadership of the Uhuru Movement. So we want to call upon the United States to drop its charges against the Uhuru team. We believe everybody on earth has the right to free speech. Everybody on earth has the right to um, association. We have the right to associate ourselves with whosoever and wherever we want to do that. So in light of that, the United States, I don't think it has that right to stop the freedom of speech of the Uhuru team, ranging from um, Chairman Omale, Sitela, Penny Ash, and Jesse Neville because they've done nothing other than to fight for the liberation and freedom of black people right around the world, wherever we find ourselves. This is the revolution that is continuing. It has been started since the 60s. Now we are here moving on the revolution. It begins from 1972 when Chairman Omale Sitela taught his feet that African people must be free. We will be free and we are going to be free. So there is nothing else that the United States is capable of doing other than indicting the, 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 the leadership of um, the Uru movement, which is very wrong. So on behalf of my colleagues here in West Africa, from Ghana to Nigeria to uh, Liberia, in Sierra Leone here, in Guinea, in Niger, we say, hands of Uhuru, we call upon the United States to drop its bogus charges against the Uru tree. Like I said, it is our right. It is our right to have our freedom. It is our right to belong to where we want to belong. It is our right to have a free speech, Uhuru.